Hey y'all, come on in the kitchen. I am making a dish that uh, is so appropriate for breakfast, brunch, a ladies luncheon, uh, or even dinner. So I'm working with phyllo dough here and I do buy the uh, frozen prepared product uh, because it's so good and it makes things so much easier. You know, I've said a hundred times I like um, prepared products that are good. So phyllo dough is very, very thin and it's very fragile and it dries out very, very quickly. So I have gotten out three sheets of phyllo dough. I think it's three sheets. Let's see. All right, so what we're gonna do is take our phyllo and we're gonna brush it with melted butter and garlic. So we're gonna give this phyllo a little, little punch. Now because this dries out so quickly, I'm gonna put a damp paper towel on it and keep it soft until we get ready to put our dish together. And the name of our dish is um, eggs, in a, eggs in a Basket. So our phyllo is gonna be our basket. Oh, is there, is there garlic in the butter? Yes, there's garlic in the butter. And you can use, you know, real garlic or garlic uh, powder. I would, uh-oh, see how easily this tears. And as it dries out, it gets even more fragile. But don't worry about if it tears, just, this, this makes such flaky layers that it's not going matter if it tears a little bit so here we go that's our last sheet so uh, like I said I'm buttering them real good with garlic butter and then I have a damp paper towel here that I'm gonna use to keep it nice and moist But before I do that, I'm going to cut this into fourths. So right down the middle. Let's see how big that I want these. How big do I want these? I think fourths is, might be a little big. But that's what I ask everybody to do in this recipe. So I'm going to do that. All right, here is my, oh, that's, <laughs> that's a torn up phyllo. What did I do with my paper towel? Here it is. So, I want to make sure that's good and damp. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to cover it with a clean dish cloth. Okay, so over here in our muffin tins, I have buttered these with the garlic butter. So hopefully they won't stick on us. Now I'm gonna, you know, when I first formulated this recipe, I can't remember which book it's in. Do you know, Teresa? It says kid-friendly eggs in a nest. So this could have been in one of my children's cookbooks uh, because you, you bake off your pastry and then you just scramble your eggs and put it in there. Well, I'm gonna just change this up a little bit. I'm gonna poach the eggs. And I just bet you a dollar, Teresa, it is in one of my children's cookbooks because I wouldn't recommend uh, children working with boiling hot water. Uh, so, I've got my hot water back here that I've salted, and I added a 
added about a fourth of a cup of vinegar. And when you are, when you're poaching an egg, you want to kind of get your water to swirl in. And that vinegar, I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar, Eddie, because that one kind of spread out a little bit on us. But that vinegar will help shrink that egg so it'll stay, so it'll kind of stay in one piece. Okay, now when you're, uh, when you are poaching eggs, you can cook them to the doneness that you like. I'm one of these, I don't like, I don't like my whites runny. I do like them done. All right, now where did that other egg go? Where did he go? I can't tell. A little bit longer on that one. Do you see our other egg, Eddie? Lost I've lost him. <laughs> Whoops. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's what the triplets say, especially Amelia. There you go. That's right. <laughs> All right, now I'm just scooping off the kind of foam. Now Michael would like his egg just like that. Really runny. All right, now where, where'd that egg go? <laughs> Oh yeah, that one's real pretty. So I probably wound up adding like a third of a cup of vinegar to this big pot. Oops, no, a little bit longer on that one. Okay, Eddie, I think that one's about right too. So I'm just gonna do enough for four. Oh, um, so you can do those, cook those, and put them aside. And now we're gonna go back to our phyllo. All right, so back to our phyllo. You can't hardly tell the phyllo from the, <laughs> from the uh, paper towel. down because I think that would be I did butter that didn't I yes I did all right so we just gonna press our phyllo into our muffin tins and again I'm gonna trim off some of that I think I'm gonna separate these so maybe they'll have a chance at browning better. So we're gonna put these in our preheated 375 degree oven and we're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes. And then we're gonna bring out our shells and um, put our dish all together. Well, y'all, I know that I look totally different when we started this recipe but while I was uh, waiting for our shells to cook, I had the worst hot flash. My whole head got sopping wet and it was just sweat was just pouring down me. I hope, I hope y'all are not, <laughs> I hope y'all are spared hot flashes cause they are bad. They are bad. I felt like I was fixing a light on fire at any minute. So I had to throw my hair up, get it up off my neck and find something a little cooler. So that's what happened uh, in the 10 minutes that these were cooking. <laughs> so, 
they look good. There's not a whole bunch of room. I, uh, that one, that one, uh, I didn't have it back good enough. I'm going to cut our oven on raw. Because we're going to uh, melt our cheese on top of our egg. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of ham in each one of uh, these cups. And now, remember, you can cook your egg any way you want to. You can scramble it. You can poach it. Uh, so, it's just a matter of preference. Your preference. It's your call. See the way I didn't stand that one up and it kind of folded over? This makes a pretty little display though. Tuck that little piece of white over under. Okay. See how pretty these look? And this one's going to be tricky <laughs> since I... There we go. <laughs> And you can salt and pepper these at this time. But I did salt my uh, water that I balled them in. And let's see, I think I will use the coarse ground black pepper on it. Just to... <laughs> That one hadn't even been opened. I know I got one that's open. Yeah. No sense in opening up another one. These have got big holes, so have to be careful or you'll get them too peppery. Now, I'm gonna top these with cheese. And again, the cheese is your preference. Uh, you can use any cheese that you like. I'm just using a mild cheddar. But uh, any kind would be good on it. Gris Air uh, mozzarella. Oh my gosh, what am I missing? Mozzarella, cheddar. Swiss. Uh, Swiss would be delicious with it. So it's really your preference. But this looks so, 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 so good. And like I said, these just make a nice little, nice little brunch dish. And even if you're serving it buffet style, you know, these, you can put them out, put them on a platter and everybody can just help themselves. So in the oven that goes and we'll keep a close eye on it. And it won't take but just a minute for that cheese to melt. Y'all, I shut the oven door and you're supposed to never shut the door when you're brawling. You always want to leave it cracked and I just shut it like going about my business. And look, they got really, really brown quick. When you're brawling something, you can't take your eyes off of it. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get these up without breaking them. I think I'll just do three on this plate. Cause I like, I like odd numbers. And I'm gonna get a piece of parsley. I always laugh, you know, we have to have our veg vegetables. <laughs> So there we go. And, uh, uh oh, falling off the vine. And a little tomato for color. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful little dish. I hope y'all like it. Looks like we went to a lot of trouble, but really, we really didn't, did we? And like I said, if you want to make it really easy, just scramble the eggs rather than poaching it. But I just love the way the poached egg looks. 
So love and best dishes, y'all. I'm fixing to feed Eddie. Because these are cooked the way he likes them. <laughs> okay, Eddie? Ready. Hey, y'all. It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.